We have made quite a few improvements since the last 2K Mobile video. As you'll notice, we've replaced kind of these three central players. The Clay Thompson, Carmelo Anthony, and Amara Studemeyer have replaced the Dwayne Wade, KD, and of course the AD that we had at those three spots. I've managed to pick them up, and that has helped our power rating go up from, I think, 21,000 to now being 25,000, which is really, really good to see. All of those three players I've pretty much just got from going through the tourneys and going through this Galaxy Opal section, of course. I have to go up to 27,000 to get my Dark Matter section. Then I'll try and go and play through those matches to then get some more players over there. I found these tourneys really, really helpful in not just getting me the players, also the draft picks so you can get some more collectibles. And of course, getting the rings as well is probably going to be a bit helpful in the future. I've been playing through as many drills as I can, trying to stock up on coins from doing all the stat line stuff, which I found really fun. Of course, we had a domination event, which I managed to get to the end of, meaning that I got a couple of New Year stuff, some gear keys, all of that stuff, which is really helpful. Obviously, we have got the new year's players and that stefan curry the obsidian one is looking absolutely ridiculous i know i probably won't get him no money spent i've got probably no chance of getting him at all i've seen a couple of people pull him out of packs and stuff of course we've got the new spinner pack which is looking really fun but if i can i might try and craft this robinson over here mitchell robinson if i can i've got the 2023 tokens it's just those rings i need to try and get the pink diamond ones i could push and potentially get up to rj barrett again it's those rings which is going to mean a lot of going through the tourneys and hoping to get those rings cam johnson for me is probably going to be a bit of a stretch in trying to get all those dark matter rings because i probably won't unlock the tawny in time to try and get them but i might just hold on to the 2023 tokens to maybe see what i could do i think it's all done for me on terms of the winter stuff i know we've got the new fancy finals coming out which would push me up a little bit more in terms of rewards getting another two of these snowflake tokens but i don't think that is going to help me get a good enough player i think from what it's going to cost based off of all of the rings and of course the western conference collectibles and all of that stuff so i think i'd probably leave the winter stuff alone at the moment the store i do want to open a pack or two i really would like to open the superstar spinner but i don't have the coins at the moment and it's going to be tough to get up to that in the time that we've got this pack to be out so maybe that stays up for a little while or maybe we just save up on coins continually until we get some more coins so we can open up some good packs but with this new and improved team obviously it's not just this team that's been improved it's all of these lineups let me know in the comment section down below whether you should be keeping up to five teams over here like i have or whether it's better just to leave some players and maybe use them to upgrade other players because obviously i could take out marcus morris and jamal murray and then use them to upgrade say Carmelo Anthony or something like that let me know whether I should do that in the comment section down below I don't know whether there's a benefit or not to having more than one team but we're going to go into a head-to-head -head match for the first time with this brand new lineup we're going to see who we come up against and whether we can actually go ahead and beat them it's going to be interesting to see whether it's laggy or anything like that we've got an estimated wait time of less than a minute so I'll see you guys when we're in a game okay so we have found a matchup over here it's looking like he's equipped one of the boosts I think you can buy I could be completely wrong about that but let's hopefully see if we can actually go ahead and win the game I'm so glad I managed to get Clay Thompson for this team because he's really, really good at getting the three pointers knocked down. Of course, Magic Johnson isn't that bad either at getting those three. So we're going to hopefully get the win over here. So I think it's going to be a little bit of a tricky game. Can we at least win a tip off with Rudy Gobert? They're going to chuck the ball up and we just about time it right to get that tip off one. So we got Amari Studemeyer over there. We'll play it out if we can to Magic Johnson right over here on the left hand side. We need to find a bit of space if we can. We'll set the screen with Studemeyer. Play it out to Clay Thompson on the right hand side for three. It's lagging a little bit. But we get the three off it's a poor release and unfortunately he misses that one but we get the rebound that time with Gobert we'll dish it back out to Carmelo Anthony for a two-pointer and unfortunately he misses that one on the shot I think my opponent's looking like he's got a very very solid team and they're going to drain the three-pointer with that Kobe 56k on the power which is ridiculous and Larry Markin 52k as well so this is going to be a very tough matchup we got Magic Johnson very poor release on my part I don't know what's up with that we get the steal though with Amari Shudemai over there so let's play over to Magic Johnson he's in a lot of space let's try and knock down the three this time it's another poor release but this time he is going to knock that one down better release than the other one and he's knocking down the three pointer to level up the game but this is going to be a very tough game they're going to shoot the two pointer and they are going to miss it over there Gobert getting the rebound we got Amari running up the court so let's try and find someone if we can don't think he's going to make that shot or dish it out to Carmelo Anthony for three. And unfortunately, he does miss that one. He's got De'Aaron Fox at 58k. I think that's an Obsidian card. Could be wrong about that, though. They're going to shoot the two-pointer and they are just going to miss that one. But they get the rebound and we managed to stop them from scoring over there. So this is keeping us in the game over here. We can't waste our shot and they get called on the reaching foul. So at least we get the ball back. I think we've just got to make really sensible shots. Make sure we're not doing anything too crazy. We're going with a three-pointer with Carmelo Anthony. 
Fortunately, he is going to miss that one. I said not to do anything too crazy, and then I just go ahead and do that. We've got to stop them from scoring over here, and we get the steal with Studemeyer. Let's run it up the court with him. He's going to get stopped a little bit, but he's going to come through with that one-handed slam, giving us a two-point lead. We can't let them go in like that, and that is just an absolutely ridiculous dunk over there from them. But we shouldn't be letting them do that. We're going to try and get some points back. We've got Magic Johnson. He's got some space, and he's going to come through with the one-handed slam just about. I thought he was going to miss it for a second, but he just manages to make it go in. In. So we're up at the end of that first half, which is really good for us. We're up by two points. We just got to hold this lead and keep going until the very end. I don't know how 2K work out exactly who you play against in terms of power rating and all that stuff. We got Clay Thompson over here. He's going to go in for the layup. It's a good release and he's just going to miss that one. But we get the rebound that time. We'll dish it back out to him on the left hand side. Will he have a better chance? He got guarded a little bit. So we're just going to try and pass the ball around. We'll get a screen from Gobert. He set a good screen. We play over to the right hand side for Studemeyer. He's just going to miss that. That one unfortunately i was trying to play it back to go bear but it just sort of went past him a bit and went to studemeyer and said they're going to play it inside and they're going to miss that shot over there which is good for us we get the rebound with studemeyer so let's play it out to magic johnson we're going to shoot a three-pointer with him it's a poor release and he's just going to nearly airball that one over there i think it touched the backboard just a little bit they are searching for another two points kobe's just running around the room a little bit we get the block though with magic johnson on kobe bryant that was such a nice block and i don't get why clay thompson's jumping around i didn't even press block i don't know whether that's the ai just sort of getting fooled by our opponent over there but i didn't even press block on that shot we get the two pointer off of magic johnson and that's an easy bucket for us to put our lead back up to two points less than a minute left we just got to hold on a little bit longer with this game they're going to shoot the three pointer with marketing somehow he's going to make that one that was tight defense from us we were applying the pressure but he still manages to make the shot so we got to find some good clever baskets we got gobert setting the screen there it's not going to be a good pass to the hoop though clay thompson's out on the left hand side we'll shoot the three-pointer with him and he is going to drain that three-pointer i'm so glad i got that clay thompson just for that reason getting those three pointers knocked down in tight situation they're sort of dancing around the hoop and they get called on the three second violation over there we got 27.8 seconds left if we can get a good basket that puts us into a good position to win this game we're going to play over to Carmelo Anthony almost got the ball stolen off us over there we'll do some dribble moves find a bit of space we'll get the pick and roll if we can we got someone setting the screen over there Amari's running in we got go bear though in the middle knocking down that two-handed slam really nicely four point lead and 18 seconds left. We've got to hold on. They can't shoot a three-pointer. They're going to play out to Markkanen. Wide open for three, and he's going to miss that one. We've managed to get the rebound, though, and we've got just over eight seconds left in the game. We're just going to dribble around a little bit, play it out to Clay Thompson. Can he knock down a buzzer beater three to end off the game? It's going to be a decent release, and unfortunately, he's just going to miss that one. But we win the game by four points to a really tough opponent, especially because their team was absolutely nuts. But we get 19 fans for that one, and we do get one of those head-to-head -head packs. I don't know exactly what's in it. I'm intrigued to see exactly what what we can pull and we get ourselves six draft picks and a hype inducer boost so that is just giving us some more fans if we do win but we get six draft picks so we can just finish up the board over here and see what we can get and we do get a board reset on the last one which is a little unfortunate but it's good nonetheless we just get some more pump up stuff so yeah i might have to try and play some more head-to-head -head games especially if we're getting good wins like that one but it is mainly down to this new and improved team hopefully i can try and get up to 27k and get myself a dark matter card on the tourneys and of course push myself up a little bit higher in some of the events in terms of what I can get. Let me know in the comment section down below what I should do with all of these extra cards, whether I should keep them in other lineups or use them for something else. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. And if you want to go see more NBA 2K mobile videos from me, go check out the playlist in the bottom left hand corner. There's plenty you can go ahead and watch and I'll see you guys in one of those videos. Peace.